Well, you've done as much research as you think you need. You have a really good understanding of your subject, and you're ready to start writing. What now? Over the next few videos, we're going to look at the details of things like the outline and the body. But for now, we're just going to look at them as part of a big picture. A research paper is formal. It's not text. It's not a blog. It's not an email. It is not a tweet. There is no place in a formal research paper for emojis or abbreviations. Just the facts, please. Now let's talk about the five paragraph essay for a minute. You probably have a bunch of these in your past. I want you to think of college writing as similar, it's just bigger. You will have your introduction and your conclusion, and we'll talk about those later in the module. But instead of three body paragraphs, you're gonna have from two to four main topics. Each of those is gonna end up with several, usually three or four paragraphs to support it. The most important thing to take away from this slide is that a paragraph makes one point. Let me say that again, one point. It should be between three and five sentences long. Since you need to provide supporting evidence for each of your points, every paragraph will need at least one citation. Hopefully, you noticed during your research that staying on topic is kind of hard. Rabbit holes are amazing. Every topic is much larger than your research question allows for. The reason for the research question is to help you stay focused, but sometimes you will find it is not working for a reason. Most likely, it's not narrow enough, and you're finding way too much information for the space allowed. There are just too many subtopics for you to ever finish writing. It's perfectly fine to make choices to limit yourself and edit your research question. Less often, you're not finding enough information. Again, you have to look at how narrow your research question is. The sweet spot is where you have just a bit more information than you have room for. Say you're looking at the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. It turns out to be a surprisingly big topic. After doing some research, you find you're most interested in the common causes of death among the inmates. You could have focused on the types of prisoners or on notable persons associated with the camp or camp construction. Looking at all of these would create a book, not a paper. Make your choice and revise your research question so you can stay focused on it. Most papers required in college are going to be 1,000 to 1,500 words. That may sound like a lot, but we're going to look at what those numbers really mean. So first, you need an introduction with a thesis statement. That's about 75 words. And you'll need a conclusion that revisits all your points. Another 75 words. That's 150 already, leaving only 850 for your three main topics, about 280 words each. Your body paragraphs will be the biggest part, but each paragraph will end up only having about 100 words. When you think back to each paragraph needing an intro, development, and evidence, that adds up to 100 pretty fast. Well, this has been a little warm up. Next, we'll look at some of these subjects in more detail. As always, if you have any questions, contact one of your librarians.